Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Calhouns. I'm your host, Junior Bindu, along with my buddy and co-host, Anthony Toma. Uh, today we've got a young lady on deck today. We've got Juliana Raban, daughter of Jennifer and Randy Raban. Many of you know Mr. Randy Raban. Uh, we're here to introduce to you some of the stuff that this young lady has done in her uh, youth so far. It's been from what art you're going to see today along with her dancing that she does as well too and where her career is going to lead to. So we're going to kick it off right now with uh, Juliana and see how, uh, how you got here today. How are you? So you can start Good, off by you? introducing yourself yeah. and, and just kind of going into what got you into the art. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm Juliana. I'm 17 years old. Ever since I was young, my mom used to say, like, I would always just have, like, a crayon in my hand and I'd be dancing around. So when I was young, my parents would always emphasize, like, extracurriculars on my siblings and I. And my sister got into gymnastics. My brother got into golf. So, like, we all had different things, but it was just really emphasized that we had to be involved in something. So my main things were dance and art. And I've been dancing for 15 years now. And I've been drawing like like I since I could draw or since I could like literally pick up a crayon. So I've just been like experimenting with whatever I could find and It's a lot of beautiful stuff yeah. you got here. So you Thank mentioned you. a brother and a sister. You wanna can yeah. I talk about them, who they are? Give um, them a little shout out. Yeah. So my brother Evan, he's twenty three. He's in business right now. He's doing really well. What kind of business? Um Good stuff. He own, yeah, he owns like some <laughs> shops and oh, cool. yeah. And then and my sister. sister, she's in the medical field and she's getting into health administration. Oh wow, very yeah. nice. Good. Yeah. That's uh that's a big thing with Randy, right? He's got the big push behind you guys to be able yeah. to give that, you know. It's good. A lot of you guys within your family do mm -hmm. good things with business. We've even had um your cousin Chris, he was our yeah. first guest on there. So Chris he's Abro. very creative. Yeah, Chris Abro. So he's very creative himself with creative media, mm -hmm. right? Go figure. Yeah. So it's awesome. So you guys have some of this talent. So let's start you at two years old, you started dancing. Yes. Two, three years old, you started getting yeah. into it. Now, was it maybe you started watching the chuggas or something? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was it, were you at some of these parties that they took you to? Or was it an influence on TV or something that got you inspired? Um, honestly, so like, my mom, she put me into swim, tennis, all these things. Like, I was in gymnastics as well. But like, I just ended up like loving dance and like, that's all I would want to do. So I think at between like 8 and 12, I don't remember the exact age, I got into the competitive team at my studio. Mm -hmm. And like from there, like that's all I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And What is competitive dance? Explain that a little bit to the viewers. Um, so the commitment with that is like, I dance like 20 or more hours a week. Mm -hmm. So we have technique classes, we have workout classes, and then we have choreography, which our teacher does. Sure. Wow. So then um, our competition season officially starts in March this year. And what kind, what's the kind of competition? What's it made up? Will you travel somewhere? Or what yeah, happens? we've traveled to places such as Maryland, um, some North Carolina, mm -hmm. just like Chicago, everywhere. And usually competitions last like three days. Like, mm -hmm. And a lot of people just like underestimate how much time I need, like I put into this right. type of thing. And, yeah. I'm yeah. glad you said that. And I want to play off of that. So just this past weekend, we had a very, very interesting halftime Super Bowl show, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I, I want to bring this up because from a woman's perspective, and not only a woman's perspective, but you're a, a dancer as well who does this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of rift about, oh, my God, it was, it, was too expo it was too exposed, too much this. Me as a man, what I took it as is I saw two beautiful women who inclined their, their life at 40, 50 years mm -hmm. old what people didn't understand, and I'd like you to let them know, is how long it took them to make that performance. That yeah, wasn't like a one back. month no. or two, yeah. you know, and the backup yeah. that came behind mm -hmm. it. From what I saw was six months. Yeah. Let some sure. of the people know, some of the hard work. And, and did you find appreciation mm -hmm. for that dance at halftime? Yeah. Talk about it. Um, so, like, personally, like, we start, like, in August just, like, making all of our dances and, like, you have to perfect every single detail. Like each person has to move the exact same way. Like mm -hmm. in like general, we're all different. So it's hard to like make us all look the same. Mm -hmm. And like that just takes like literally from like putting your arm like this to like this, there's just such a big difference. <laughs> it's crazy. And another thing with like the Super Bowl performance that you brought up is mm -hmm. like a lot of people didn't realize like, like they were like, oh, like they were too like 
provocative dancing. Yeah, it was like, that's their culture. Like, Latino, they're known for, like, like yeah. us as Chaldeans, like, we shake our hips, like, that's just how yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. 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 So I feel like a lot of people didn't really, like, appreciate, like, what they were trying to show. Right. And that's the big thing is, is it's so easy for us to look at and go, you know, I'm looking at this TV and I'm seeing these people dancing and that's all they're doing. They're just yeah. dancing, jumping around yeah. and whatever for a quick 15 minutes, mm-hmm. right? But the thought process of what you guys have to do to prepare, yeah. what you just said is what people don't get. Mm-hmm. One movement just to do yeah. this is different from Anthony, you and I, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And you've got to have it synced accordingly because yeah. you're working with not only the dancing, but there's a beat that follows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're well, The choreography the and the the routine has to be new, innovative, different. I mean, what are they going to show? A special Super Bowl halftime show where it's the same old little dance? I right. mean, what are they going to do, square dance? Yeah. I mean, they, they had to do something, yeah. right? They, yeah. they have to make it different. It's got to be exciting. It's got to be energetic. It's got to it's got to blow people's minds. Yep. Mm-hmm. And like Michael me. Jackson's little moonwalk. Like, you know, yeah. you got to come up with new stuff. Yep. yep. What are some of, the, some of the things that you guys do that no one's ever seen or, or, or done before? Um... So, like, this is just an example. So, on the Olympics, there's no, like, dance. Like, there's that's not something you would compete. But they do rhythmic gymnastics with, like, those balls. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. we actually incorporated that into a dance, and we won our nationals with that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And then from there, we won nationals four times in a row. So, it's like... Jesus. Our dance teacher really tries to, like, incorporate different things we've never seen, yeah. like, on the stage. And it How many people working. on your team? Um... We have, like, an elite team, and on there, I want to say, like... 30 to 40. Oh, geez, and then, that's a lot. Yeah. And nationals, nationals are, that means everybody. That means yeah. the whole country. The whole country. <laughs> and you guys yeah. won it four times in mm-hmm. a row? Yeah. That's amazing. We're, 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 in comparison, there's been some of those movies the, with the girls, they do the dancing. I'm trying to remember some of the names of those. But where they go into those competition and you see them, like, they, yeah. they, they go in front of, like, there's four people mm-hmm. sitting on a table and yeah. you're sitting there and you're singly doing this and to prove yeah. yourself. Did you go through that? Like, did yeah. you? Okay. Explain that to us in that moment. Like, what you, you're standing there. I'm actually nervous as hell yeah. just standing in front of, you know, four <laughs> people staring yeah. at you. It's like, you'll be backstage. Like, this is what happens to me. Like, I'll be backstage. I'm like, all right, I'm not nervous. And they'll call my name. I'm like, all right, we're going. And I'm like, <laughs> I go on the stage. I'm like, okay. And then the music starts. Like, there's, like, that moment right before it starts. And you're just like, all right. Like, because yeah. there's always those thoughts like, oh, my God, I'm going to forget my dance. Or, like. Sure. sure. But once, like, I'm on the stage, like, I just, like. Boom, I don't boom, even boom. like feel myself dancing. Like my body just kind of like takes over. What what gives you that tunnel vision? Like because you're at that point, you're zoning everything out. Yeah. You're just thinking straight ahead. Is there something that makes you give get that courage that 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 you think of or you do or do you just build self confidence and walk out there and go? I mean, honestly, it's kind of both. Like when you feel the music, it's just like a. I don't even know how to describe the feeling, but like it just kind of controls you. Sure. Sure, Missy yeah. Elliott said it best. Music makes me lose control, yeah. right? Yes. That's what it is, right? It's actually the opposite. It makes me in control. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think what you're missing is the preparation that goes into Correct. it mm-hmm. be beforehand and yep. the time and all yeah. the energy and the effort and the repetitive mm-hmm. bang, 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 and then there's a the muscle memory, and then that's what's driving the entire thing, yeah. and the music is just part of the beat and part of what you've <laughs> learned and what your muscles remembered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a, a, ramping up to every um, competition what are you talking three months six months before you guys prep before you get to that point or how how much time is needed per you know per a competition so August September October November December January February so like seven months (laughs) just to start performing between March and July Jesus. It's amazing. And, and how, mu- how much time is dedicated in that seven months? Like, are you there, like, 20 hours a week, 30 hours a week, or, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, 20 or more, and, like, um, every other de- year we do um, Nutcracker, which is, like, a really popular Christmas show, yeah. mm-hmm. and I've ended up getting the two lead roles. Like, when I was younger, I got Clara, which is, like, the younger role, like, mm-hmm. the main one, and then this year I got Sugar Plum, yeah. which is also another main role, so it's, like, I put so much commitment, and I feel like a lot of people, like... Like, I've missed out on, like, a lot of, like, normal teenage things. Like, people like, oh, of course you have dance or, like, <laughs> it's, like, I don't know. It's well, flip <laughs> it around. You also gained what yeah. a lot of teens didn't gain yeah. mm-hmm. at, at your age. So you also have to find a positive in mm-hmm. everything. Because a lot of, whether girls or boys in your age, you know, will say, 
man, I didn't do this, I didn't yeah. do that. And they're going to start experiencing and, you know, going through that in their early 20s, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. they think they missed out. That's true. But when you take it and play it the way you did, you flip it into a more positive, mm -hmm. if anything. So you're prepping and stuff. Getting to something like Nutcracker, how did they find you for that? Is it because of the competition? Or what, um, what gets you to that point? We have, like, auditions, and then our instructors, like, like whoever's best for the role, they'll mm -hmm. put them for that. And so... Beautiful. For the age ranges in this this group that's winning all these national championships. Yeah. Like, how old are they from what to what? Um, So, are you saying, like, dancers in general? Your dancers, so you, yeah, yeah. your d dancers on your team. Yep. Um, I want to say the youngest are probably, like, six. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. Wait, so you guys perform from the age group to the age group, but all in sync together on the competition, or is they it... do different. Well, everyone has different, different things. Like, there's like groups yeah. of like, there's like other things younger dancers. Yeah. yeah, but there's yeah. That's why. Don't you watch America's Got Talent? Man? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have kids yet either to put them. You know what I'm saying to, to get it, but that's yeah. good because see, she, I just learned off of her. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What, what's what's involved with that? Isn't that cool though? Seeing these little yeah. six year olds watching exactly. them, it's. It's got to be. So you talked a little bit about, like, missing out on something. What is it that you think you missed out on or feel like you missed out on that that you want to do? Maybe your dad will take you to Disneyland one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> just, Not, like, small things like, like oh, what? like, we're hanging out. Like, can you come? No, I can't. I've practiced. Like, yeah. But so we, you miss nothing, really. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> I have ten dances to practice for on top of, like, my technique. It's, like... I right. don't have time to hang out. Yeah. And, like, honestly, like, it has matured me a lot. And I feel like Good. it's giving me, like, a different, like, mindset. Well, that should be a lesson to mm -hmm. the, the youth out there, yeah. the younger ladies, that you don't, if, if you can develop a craft and you have an art and you have a, a if, if, if you, God blessed you with a talent, then you should take yep. a total advantage yeah. of the talent. Because hanging out, you can always hang out. I'm, yeah. I'm right. 53 years old. <laughs> I could still hang out. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm not, you know, you're not missing anything at whatever age. But when... When the God gives you the window of opportunity, you're supposed to take it. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, a lot of people try to do something someone else does, even though it doesn't necessarily pertain to them. Like, some people will go to school for medical, even though, like, that's not actually what they want to do. Right, right. And I think people should just follow their passions. Like, like personally, like, being Chaldean, like, I never grew up, like, knowing any Chaldean, like, dancers. So it's like, I still did it, even right. though no one else did. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, a, that's a good point. You ever seen me at any weddings or community <laughs> parties? What do you Celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out there usually the, the, the guy throwing the... Uh, so you mentioned, like, a, a career path. So you're going, what's, your, what's, the, what's next for you? So once I graduate, I think I want to dance for the Pistons. Oh, wow. Why aren't you going to some other, aren't you going to some other formal uh, training somewhere? Um, schooling. As, well, for school, I'm gonna get into the arts at College of Creative Studies. Okay, okay. But then, as far as dance goes, I just think like, I love basketball, so mm -hmm. it was cool how I could like have the opportunity to dance awesome. for like a basketball team. There's, there's, and what have you? Uh, what, how far along have you have you looked into it? Have you reached out to anyone there? Yeah, um, the director. Her name is Natalie. I've mm -hmm. taken a bunch of classes from her. Oh, okay. So was, Anthony probably knows. Just so you know, he, he sat in front enough. <laughs> For the Pistons are so long that he knows the staff. Really? Yeah, they've yeah he's been on some of the retreats with them and yeah. stuff. But he's a big basketball fan too. So huge basketball. That'd, yeah, it'd be cool because mm -hmm. first I think um I don't think there's ever been a Chaldean guy or girl that's ever been on any type of dancing like that on that level. Yeah. So to be able to do that, you're getting into a national so. level because yeah. you're recognized by a national league. Mm -hmm. so, very, very cool. Yeah, that would be cool. We definitely would be rooting on you know our, our fellow sisters. So let's it. go back when your art started and, and you talked about this yeah. keychain. Okay. <laughs> so, so why don't you hold it yeah. and talk a little bit about it. Um. So when I was younger, I would just make like small things like this keychain. Like, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like there's a like, here's another one. Um, so my dad, he had some stores, and I he was like, you know, why don't you just try selling something? I was like, all right. So I just made a few of these, and then they started selling really fast, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting phone calls from people from a <laughs> store. They're like, hey, can you make me this with my name? And I'm like, of course. Like, And I'm like eight. I don't even know how old right, I was, right. so I'm like that's already... Crazy. Yeah, I was already starting, like, business at a young age, and then um, oh, during like Breast Cancer one. Awareness Month, like, I'd make these out of clay. Oh, wow. And, I see that. Yeah. 
So I ended up raising like three to four thousand dollars to donate, just making those little That's clay amazing. things. Yeah. yeah. Good for you, especially having representation like that for, yeah. for women. Mm -hmm. Just that that my mom that's how my mom passed with from mm -hmm. breast cancer. So it, it's a beautiful thing that you're giving love mm -hmm. back to your to your own your own kind. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So having uh Randy around, right? At eight years old, was he pressing you more to double up the sales at some point in time? <laughs> how was he looking mm -hmm. for you know, he's a he's a very aggressive businessman himself mm -hmm. too. He's fun to be around too. That's a good he's a play hard, work hard guy. But having him as a father, was he your push as more came on with stuff like this and yeah. you know, what what was some influences he had given you during that time? Honestly, I'd say my mom and dad both equally because my oh. mom really emphasized like the art and then my dad emphasized the business port part. Sure. Mm -hmm. So they kind of worked perfectly together to That's cool. Perfect. Want me to like and like I don't necessarily want to like be like in business, but like mm -hmm. being like a part of business is like really like this has created an interest for me, sure. especially like starting that at such a young age. Mm -hmm. So. So what, what I was gonna say, you got a picture there too. Oh, What's the, uh, yeah. what do we got there? When, when did the um, henna come out? Come yeah, <laughs> so I also started doing hennas yep. um, three to four years ago. Oh, it's been a and, long time. Yeah, so I actually learned how to make like the henna paste and like I made my own cones and then I just started practicing on my friends and cousins and I was like, they're like, you know, you should like do this as a business. Yeah. And like, I was like, yeah. So I've had people like give me phone calls and they're like, I'm having people over. Can you do henna? So I would just drive to their house, do their henna, and then. Sure. So do they? So these are. When do they do these henna? At, at for weddings or just, or just parties? Like it's a henna anytime. party or something. Yeah, like whatever they want. And then so, do they do them at like communions or something mm -hmm. like this? So so this is like tattoo kind of thing. Yeah. An affair and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So anyone having a party, if they wanted to have a, someone do that does henna, yeah. you would they would call mm -hmm. you yeah. and you you'd go there. So mm -hmm. so this is a way for you to make. A little extra money to mm -hmm. offset that uh, yeah. creative studies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So taking a Tuition. step, taking a step back before getting to the henna, you have been doing art for a while. Mm -hmm. So as we can see, the room is full of your beautiful work, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is which is great. So tell us about this one. So that was actually my first painting I've ever done, mm -hmm. and my first person I've ever done. It was actually of myself. I so. was going to say, isn't that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that was just cool. And then the pieces behind me are also from the AP class I took. Yeah. So. And so of all the people that you've ever kind of done pictures of, is, was she the most difficult? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how long did that take? Like 40 hours. Because like you have, like with me, like I'm a perfectionist. So oh. I want to get every single detail possible. So. Very cool. And I, so how did you do that? Like, what was the process? Um, was it, were you looking in a mirror or did you take no, a picture? No, I took a yourself? picture okay. and then I used acrylic paint and it took like layers and layers just to get that one picture. So you said it was your first one. How old were you there? Um, I was a freshman in high school. Okay. Okay, cool. So like Sweet. 14. Great. Now you're <laughs> in skilled. What, you know, you started with the crayon. <laughs> yeah. Right? <coughs> what was the next step from the crayon? What what started getting the momentum going more and more to lead you up to these? I mean, you got some beautiful pictures. Thank you. You know, stuff like this here. I'm sure this is not. Which way's up? Yeah. Honestly, every which way. Yeah. <laughs> every, which, every which way is up. You know what I'm saying? So from designing stuff that's beautiful like this to the centerpiece that you got there, what took you to and this then angle? even before that like the, that's yeah. that's yep. a, a model right yeah so um i entered a contest for vans this year so these qr Van, what is vans yep. um vans is a shoe brand mm -hmm. and they had they have this contest i think like every year mm -hmm. so i was able to draw on this piece of paper and then they there's qr codes in the corner which allows it to make a 3d model of it oh wow so I ended up get there was like thousands of thousands of entries and I think I was like within the top 100 wow. or top 20 actually. That's, that's even better. That's crazy. I mean, obviously I didn't win, but it was still like a really cool experience, like just to put yep. myself out there and try mm -hmm. something new. So was this one of the po that pop up they did here in Detroit? Did you check them out when they were here? They did a quick pop up here in Detroit. Vans no. did. So I was asking if you may be part of it because they were. That's the big thing is they like art. Yeah. So they did a pop-up and they had local people that were around to come in and do art on the spot and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And they did a one-day shop in Detroit. Very so, cool. Yep. Yeah, that is. Yep. So, so going from this, you're getting these experiences. What about some of this here? Yeah. Because I see you, you, you deal with from like, you get, you know, some charcoal pencil and stuff mm -hmm. here that I see you work with. 
which is not easy because yeah. you can dot almost Literally. the back of the back of <laughs> yeah. your hand. Yeah. When you make stuff like this here, you have to be so on point mm -hmm. with what she's doing. Tell people how long it takes just to draw one eye. Yeah. So this was the first. Okay. So I actually um, I did last year junior year. I did AP Studio Art. And what was that? So pretty much um, you had to finish 24 pieces oh so 12 <laughs> was you had to do 12 of a focus i'll explain what that is and then 12 of a breath so my focus was eyes and i wanted to incorporate like like how can i make them different so mm -hmm. in this one i put a point shoe because like that related to dance and this person was a dancer um this one, I don't, like, I... Oh, I see the shoe now. Yeah, that see how yeah, it curves wow. with it? Yeah, yeah, see this one got the zipper to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I, saw, I could know I, it's the zipper, but this, yeah. I didn't know what that was. There's a few more. This is my mom's shoe. eye. I did a clock. I just thought it would be cool because her eyes are blue. And nice. Then, uh, my friend had green and blue, so, like, I don't know. So, you know what time yeah. is it? Yeah, you know what time <laughs> is it. What do you mean? <laughs> the second one, I would think, is almost your dad. He, he wants to run the world. What do you mean? <laughs> I said, that's the second one. <laughs> yeah, so each one took, like, this one took like 20 hours. Because it was your first one. Yeah, my first one. I, like, I have no idea <laughs> what to do, but mm -hmm. yeah. So were, is this all self-taught that you were mm -hmm. doing this? You just went in and just started hitting the books yeah. and started getting everything in mm -hmm. motion and went from there. Any help that came along or anybody that you can give any type of shout out to that maybe been an inspiration or that said, do you know what, Juliana, go this way and do this or don't do that. Yeah. So... so like, I've taken, like, art classes at school, not to, like, teach me, but just mm -hmm. to, like, have more time to do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't really think anyone's really taught me. I kind of just figured things out myself. Mm -hmm. And, like, a lot of art teachers will be like, oh, have you heard of this artist? And, like, honestly, like, mm -hmm. nope. I don't really, like, <laughs> care. Not, not, like, not, not that I don't it. care. Right, right, right. Yeah, no. but, like, I don't really, like, I figured it out myself, so I feel like sure. I don't need other influences. Sure. It's like. You have your yeah. own. Your own style your own way of doing things. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you go to Detroit Institute of Arts and say, wow, I'm looking at all these, you know, Van Goghs and everything yeah. else from, you know, from history and all that. And it's like, boom, I'm coming home. Yeah. Juliana's got her own mentality mm -hmm. on how she's going to do her own art yeah. artwork. You have your own style. That's what makes you unique, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, some inspiration that keeps you going, just so we can talk to the viewers that are younger than you, your age or older, you got to have some type of mm -hmm. love for this or what what's yeah. your what's your feel for your everyday whys in this yeah so i like it's not that i want to like brag about like oh i can draw it's just like i love seeing the reactions of people like oh my god yep. like how would you think of that <laughs> yeah. like yeah uh, so i was one of, so i'm looking at this and i want to know yes. like is, is this an image or what is yeah this? i took a picture you so drew it. okay so i can you, show you another one gotcha well. so like, how do you see this in, like, I can't do this. Yeah. Uh, so how do you see this in your Vision. head and then put it on paper? Do, okay. you, do you even know? Yeah. So <laughs> there is this art contest called Reflections. Mm -hmm. So that year, the theme was Let Your Imagination Fly. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, how can I incorporate, like, just something random? So I would literally sit down and watch TV. And be like, there would be a commercial on an airplane. I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. I'm putting an airplane. And it'd just be a bunch of, I had a That's list cool. of like random objects and then I put it into that. And then I have another one I did this year. Here you can see. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I forgot the name of the thing. I think we'll put it on screen. Yeah, we can. I think it. it's going to be a glare. Yeah. yeah. It'll be a glare, but so, if they can um, see, if you can see. Yeah. I don't know if you can or can't, but this is definitely, it's solid. So yeah. That, so this beautiful. year I took AP Psychology. So oh, that's insane. I like wanted to do something with the brain because I really learned a lot about that this year. And I also did the same like idea of something exploding out of the top. Ooh, sounds like my brain. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> yeah, sounds like mine <laughs> when I start thinking too much. <laughs> so you get this creativity by your, your influences of either, like you said, something that influenced me like talking about the brain or the eye. Mm -hmm. And then you just go to town on it. Yeah. You get your... Pen, pad, whatever it is, yeah. pencil, and you start going and, mm -hmm. you know, drawing and everything. Just curious, because some of it's changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten into or dabbled with digital drawing, or are you sticking with your standard pencil and paper? Yeah, okay, so I'm getting into advertising design when I'm mm -hmm. in college. So I think, like, 
that's going to make me way more versatile. Because, like, right now, like, mm -hmm. I've only really done um, hand drawing. Mm -hmm. But with that, like, I'm going to learn how to do those types of things, which is going to be really popular, especially because yeah. all the technology evolving. Oh, yeah, big sure. time. Yeah. So as an artist, and because I've heard it back and forth, I'm deep into, like, Marvel comics. Yeah. So I watch Marvel. When Comic-Con comes mm -hmm. here, you see all the yeah. artists, right? Well, some of their gripe is, Doing a it digital, it's it's not real art. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you do this, so what? What's your take? Is is it is it art both ways? Yeah, cause like of course everyone's it's... different. Like you're gonna have different interests, so you're gonna yeah. express it differently. There's not like yeah. oh, like there's things in museums like literally a canvas with just like orange. Like mm -hmm. yeah, like I don't know. Well, how about the banana that was just <laughs> yeah. put the banana down that was duct taped to, the, yeah. to a painting, <laughs> and the guy funny. took it down and ate it. He <laughs> ate the. And what was like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar painting? Yeah. yeah, it's not even a painting. It wasn't yeah. a painting. Yeah. It had to be a joke. There's no <laughs> way in the world. No, you'd be surprised. Do you really see stuff like that that you really look at sometimes and go, wait a minute, how is that fifty thousand dollars? Yeah, I'm like seriously, like I could do this, and then that's making that much. So well, yeah, but what that's makes gonna it expire, though? bro. Yeah, <laughs> that, but like, it's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> expire. Yeah, you know, I'm with you. But yeah. what, what I'm saying is like, what makes that so you like? If you look at Art Basel, like for for example, there is some wild, wild stuff yeah, yeah. in there. But what makes that so unique that that person it's can put that value? It's in the eye of the beholder. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. the value comes from... It's like, it's luck. Like this, yeah, like this could yeah. just turn all of a sudden, this this, pa yeah. this paper here could be 50000 in no time. Yeah. Just because somebody picked it up, saw it, whatever it was, and that, like mm -hmm. you said, the eye of the, yeah. be the beholder. Yeah, for sure. We hope to see you that one, you know, one day. You know, that's what we would love to see, to have, yeah. you know, Chaldean artists to be able to have that, that recognition mm -hmm. out there. Where do you plan on going once you you said you're going to start School of Art, right? Yeah, I'm going to go to College of Creative Studies. Yep. Um, it's in Detroit right next to Wayne. And mm -hmm. it's honestly, I've heard it's like one of the best art schools in the nation. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful to be able to go there. Like, I've done, like, so many random things. So it's, like, really rewarding. Like, this, for instance, like, this was a custom order for someone. Mm -hmm. um, I can show another one, too. How long did that take you to make? Oh, so I started it, and then I stopped for, like, two years, and my mom was like, you better finish it. I'm like, okay, and then I finally they, finished Did they outgrow the princesses before you got done? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but, um, here's another, yeah, someone ended up, um, oh, wow. contacting me on my Instagram, and they yeah. were like, it's my parents' anniversary, could you yeah. do a painting? So I ended up making this for them. And nice. it's just cool that like, people yeah, can like contact so, me. Yeah. Just for like and it's something like this. Swi is there a swiper? Oh. No, my mom has those ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, so was question for you. As mm -hmm. they're now reaching out to you, because there's going to be a point that, you know, you can't just make this a hobby forever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You got to start turning it now for, for profit. Yeah. Because your time is going to be worth mm -hmm. valued money. So they reach out to you. This is what it is. You're going to go to school for this. When does it become a business? When, when do you look at it to say, now Juliana's at the gate, I can start selling you pictures? Yeah. So I think a lot of people think, like, oh, when you're older, like, that's when you start your business. But I think you can honestly start it whenever, like, you find, like, the time and, mm -hmm. like, anyone's mm -hmm. able to do those types of things. Like, I found this um, app. It's called Depop. And I saw a lot of people started selling their own um like designs. designs on their shirts so mm -hmm. i was like maybe i can start doing that so i ended up making an account mm -hmm. so i think within the next few months i'm going to make some designs and then get them and on some shirts and nice is that what you did with that skirt right there well this or one yeah what is it okay. with this one that was for my contest yep. um i actually had like family members and a lot of people wanting them mm -hmm. on shirts and phone cases so mm -hmm. i was able to do that and um, with this yeah um this year like a lot of um, like painting on those sh uh, Nike um, Air Forces was yep, in yep. and like like jean jackets. So I ended up just doing this like small little design on these jean shorts. Yeah. So you could do jean shorts, like you could anything, do hoodies, you could do t-shirts. Like anything you could do anyone do wants. Well, like what about the try. shoes you said? The shoes, I did see some. Like I just yeah. seen a really cool of Air Force ones. Mm -hmm. They put the star on there so that it lights up, like either oh. what, what, when at night when you're okay, walking, yeah. you have like glow little the they glow in the dark yeah. stars. But like they're more for women, or they mm -hmm. had butterflies mixed into it too. So do you do stuff like that, or yeah. if I contact you and say, "Listen, I got a shirt. I need you." Yeah. To, okay. And and how do they find you to get to that? Are they finding you right now through Instagram or is it through online? How do they um, get a hold of you? So I think a lot of I post a lot of my stuff on Instagram, and then. What's your Instagram? Um, Juliana Raban. Okay. 
Um, and then a lot of people at just school know I'm artistic, so I had mm-hmm. people give me their shoes, their calculator covers yeah. to paint. So I'm yeah. like, just small things like that, Just yep. it's cool to try things on. Yep. And like, I'm not like a professional, like, I've never like, some things I'll try for my first time, like it'll just work out. Yeah, so. yeah and that's cool. Even mm-hmm. the shoe aspect, like you're talking about it, there is a big market in that with, with working them and coloring them up and doing things to them. And you know what's funny? We grew up, I know, Anthony, you may recall this, when we were growing up, remember the jean jackets we used to see and people used to put the graphics and stuff on the back? It's it's cyclical. It's It's coming back. It's definitely coming back. Yeah, yeah, it's coming back. So what's this album cover or album Uh, or record? Did you, grab went, that? Did you grab that from your dad's basement? Well, or of course. Okay. <laughs> All right. I went to a thrift store and found records. I'm not actually done with it yet, but I'm going to make like a whole wall in my room with like random. There's going to be an astronaut right here, but I thought That's it was cool, cool yeah. how I could just take random things and then turn it into something else. Turn it into art. That yep. is. There, there was a gentleman who had a little heart, art pop up across from 220 in Birmingham mm-hmm. because it's related to like this doing something cool with yeah. that. He took. Oh, I saw that too. He, he took all the old cassettes. And he made a biggie picture with using I cassettes that. out of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what Very what cool. people need to know is you can take Anything. what we consider garbage yes. and turn it into art, mm-hmm. right? Because it's like you said, Anthony, it's in the eye of the beholder. So we, we talked about like your four dance championships, and I'm looking at the board, and, and I don't know if I can read or can't read, but that does that say scoliosis? Oh, yes. Yep. So I was diagnosed with scoliosis. My back was always, like, I had a really flexible back, like, growing mm-hmm. up as a dancer, and, like, I would always just, like, fold my head back like it was nothing, and then all of a sudden it started just, like, killing me, and, like, I'd be like, oh, my God, like, I can't move, and, like, I'm still young, so it's, like, that was kind of concerning, so mm-hmm. we went to the doctors, and it, it turns out I have scoliosis, so I have one curve here and one curve here, a twist, mm-hmm. like, everything's off, like, yeah. so I ended up having to step down from dance like, I had to sit out and just watch for, like, almost a month. And, like, a month doesn't seem like a lot of time. <laughs> but literally, like, <laughs> when month. she said I couldn't dance, I just, like, started bawling my oh, eyes out. I was, like, Poor baby. I was like, what am I going to do? Like, yeah. So, I, I mean, I... St- I guess it's art. Yeah, I had, art. To, <laughs> I had to go to physical therapy. But you pushed yeah. through it, right? Yeah. And so, so how do you dance the way you dance with scoliosis? Isn't that... A, don't yeah. they have to correct that, like, in a... Tr- in a track or something like that? I mean, I've tried so many things, but ultimately, like, even though, like, it's painful, like, you have to keep pushing through it, and, like, I work out all the time because of it, because mm-hmm. if you strengthen, like, the muscles, mm-hmm. it's going to support you. Is that you part of the therapy that you you had to go through? Yeah. And it's, on, it's ongoing? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think it'll ever go away. All right. No. So. We, 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 um... I can say this to you. I commend you that you push through it, mm-hmm. because a- any, any, um take away from our body it, it affects us right yeah. it's not just a physical effect either mm-hmm. it's a mind because you find something you love and it's in, something is inhibiting you from really pushing forth the mm-hmm. way you want to but um i commend you because it's just like anything else like i go through every day and wake up no matter what you're gonna go through every yeah. day and do what you got to do that's love of living just mm-hmm. to be a- able to go through and doing that so is there ever a point you said to yourself, damn it, I want to give this up. I just, this is hurting so bad. What gave you that push to just still get up and do it? Um, so I wasn't really close to her. It kind of like, my mom's aunt ended up passing. So like that, like I only met her once, but like that one time kind of gave me like an insight, like, okay, life is short. You have to Mm. keep going. And so good for you. Just like the small things like that, you have to make the best of and, Give your aunt a shout out. <laughs> Here's the shout out for you. I love yep, you. <laughs> yep. There you go. There you go. You get because in, in those times, you, it's not just within ourselves. Mm-hmm. You gotta have. There was always that one or two person that comes in, right? Yeah. And gives you that lift. Our yeah. moms and dads do what they do, yeah. but they also give us sometimes tough love. Yeah. You know, from their perspective. <laughs> but having that aunt or mm-hmm. you know a sibling. Her or, mom's aunt. Yeah. It was your mom's aunt, right? Yep. Not your mom's sister. Um, my grandma's sister Your so grandma's her sister. okay well, I think her aunt yeah no. still just to say <laughs> whatever right. it, having that family or that person gives yeah you, it's that inspiration that gives you mm-hmm. that lift you know so and my grandma as well like my mom said like you are your grandma like you guys have the same mindset everything so it's mm-hmm. like it's kind of crazy to think about like 
how we're so similar because she was artistic and oh really yeah she danced so it's just kind of funny how that played out good very cool good. Mm -hmm. so today people can find you on instagram mm -hmm. they can dm you if they're looking for even stuff that they want to create yeah so there's a little turn right now you're starting to make a little money mm -hmm. right now good for you and where do you see the balance of after you're done with your career through college for this to get started, are you going to balance your dancing and art or are you going to lean towards more one or the other? Um, so I think going into college, I'm going to try to balance it as best as I can. Mm -hmm. Cause like if I can dance for the Pistons and then balance my school, cause that school is very demanding, but if I can balance those, then that will be ideal. But like, your body obviously won't hold up that long. Sure. So, like, once I can't dance, like, I can always take classes once in a while, but I think ultimately, like, it'll have to be something with the arts. Yeah, which, this is shelf life to, yeah. uh, on the dan uh, for a dancer, yeah. but this you can do forever almost. Mm -hmm. Good. Especially, like I said, with the technology growing. Oh, yeah. Which is, ex and, like, ev like, art isn't everything. Like, literally, like, this chair, like, everything, and I feel like it's very underappreciated. Mm -hmm. So... Even, just, even it's pretty you, deep for a 17 year old <laughs> yeah well, well it, it's true if you think about it yeah. like, even with all those commercials that we love to see on tv every day that's art mm -hmm. right you got somebody who's an artistic mind to put something in yeah. play and make you visualize and see mm -hmm. well so right now you, you have like utensils that you know how to use to create art mm -hmm. one day you're going to learn how to unlock some sort of technology and other devices yeah. that are going to to the naked eye or a person like me is just going to be a a, a laser but you're going to know what to do with that laser yeah. that laser is going to you turn that laser into something massive mm -hmm. thank god for people like you <laughs> yes yes so what's um what what is uh some things we would expect from juliana in the next year are we hoping to see you on pistons next season Yes. You know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. And then maybe some of your art in the uh, Little Caesars Arena. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That'd be really cool. You know, what about so, what about something that we wouldn't expect that you have that you, you would shock your parents and your parents would jump out of their seats and <laughs> kill them? <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, I just have a feeling <laughs> that, like, I'll be really successful because I've always had, like, this really, like, Drive. driven attitude because... I've only taken honors and AP classes in school and like as well as like all the art, all the dance, it's really like Jeez. like sculpted me. <laughs> That's cool. To have this mindset. So I think it's it's gonna work out pretty well. Beautiful. So I'm hoping like to have like not my own like as of right now, like a small business like mm -hmm. that people can contact me with. But we'll see. I don't know where it's gonna lead, honestly. So, um, one thing is, is any of this art for sale currently that people, if they look at this show and see it today and say, you know what, I like that behind her, I like whatever, is this available to be bought? Yeah, I'd be willing to. Cool. And um, your cousin Rico, right? Uh, Rico Abro, right? Or is mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that would be um, Rita and Rena. Uh, I don't know if you guys, oh, actually, no, those are Chris's, I'm sorry. So he's a young man who opened up uh, the uh, Sweet Waters over in Milford, but he has all kind of paintings and stuff like this in there. Yeah. So it's cool, like, if, like, you ever notice when you walk into coffee spots yeah. and places, they, they always... support the local artists. Mm -hmm. You guys ever, you ever think about putting your stuff up in those places so people can find you? Yeah. There's yeah. this place in downtown Farmington. Sure. And they have, like, artwork everywhere with, like, a little price tag in the corner. Mm -hmm. So I was like, maybe I can just give them a few things and see what happens with that. Got you, got you, and that's that's good. You know what I'm saying? Exposure yeah. gets you out there. Mm -hmm. Cool. Is there um, anything we may have missed on today's interview in regards to things that you make? What your plans are? Anything that we what can... you want to offer? Yes, yeah. maybe yeah. something that that we didn't cover where where you can kind of make some side money or whatever you want to yeah. do. Yeah. So I know like a few new companies have opened up and they've asked me to make like their own logos. Like I even if nothing like something wasn't shown like. I'm very open to trying new things. Like, literally like, anything, I feel like Put I can... Put it on yeah, paper. Just, yeah, anything custom, I feel like I'm able to like do. Like, if they could articulate it, you could... You yeah. Could you take it and put your spin on it Great. and make it art. Mm -hmm. And like I'm very easy to work with, so if they had an idea, I feel like I could really meet up with my ideas and make something. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. 
And that's and even uh, clothing, right? Yeah. So if somebody had a jacket they wanted to redo mm -hmm. or, or or get some art on it yeah. or something, they have an idea that you could you could take it and mm -hmm. and turn it into a piece of art yeah. where they can wear it. Cool. That's that's a big thing. Thank you. Yep. So, well, uh, before we fire before we sign off, and, yeah. and this is I can't wait because I want to hear it coming from this perspective. We always ask a question um, to our interviewee: Is what does it mean? Uh, for you to be Chaldean? Um, I think being Chaldean is just, it's not like that common, you know, like we have, we have our culture in Michigan, some in Arizona, some in Cali, and it's like a lot of people don't really know about us, but I feel like we're very unique and very driven. Like I feel like that's just how our culture is. And it's really cool to like be able to stand out and represent Chaldeans. Yeah. That's a what I'm doing. It's a big thing. Well, Great we hope answer. we hope. Thank you. We hope the generation that you're leading and the younger follow what you're doing because mm -hmm. it sounds like you got a great head on your shoulders. Your parents have done a wonderful job uh, you. raising you up, and uh, I'm sure your siblings are just as good too. You know, yeah. with everything that they and do. And proud so, of you. And proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what? Just so before we let the, the show go off, is we become more proud of you guys too as Chaldeans. Just so you know that as we get to see from your age to the older generation what they're doing now, it's amazing. So to see this, to see this, to see where you guys are you know, coming along, it's given us our opportunity to have this show so we can showcase yeah. you guys out there. So mm -hmm. it's awesome. Thanks for coming on yeah. and sharing your story. Thank you yeah. so much. Cool. Yeah, awesome having you. We're taking off, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>